a gray dawn on a remote Bengali beach. A half-drowned man staggers from the sea. His ship has been sunk and his father murdered by Sing pirates. On the skull of his father he swears to devote his life to the ceaseless fight against crime and injustice. Quite incredible, the fandom, the ghost who walks. The singer there calling himself uh, Mr. Walker is actually a guy named Tommy Molar, and uh, he's quite crazy about the legend of the Phantom, one of the great comic book heroes. Reporter Jonathan Coleman wanted to get a story about Tommy's fascination, but when he got to the interview, Jonathan got a scoop. Watch. Hi, Jonathan Coleman here with a bit of an exclusive. Now, you all remember the Phantom, the mythical comic character from years gone by. Well, today we think we've actually got an interview with the Phantom. He's granted us one after years and years of, a, of silence. But uh, today we're actually going to be meeting Tommy Moller, who's a, who's a Phantom fan from way back, who's actually prepared a record uh, commemorating the Phantom. It's a grey dawn on a remote Bengali beach. A half-drowned man staggers from the sea. His ship has been sunk and his father murdered by Sing pirates. On the skull of his father, he swears to devote his life to the ceaseless fight against crime and injustice. Alias Mr. Walcott! Excuse me. Hi, uh, mate. Tommy Moore? Sure. Hi, Jonathan Coleman. Good to meet you. I think. How are you? Why? You're waiting for... Oh, the Phantom. Where? Yeah. He'll be now. here. He'll be here. Oh, all right. Um, you sure he's going to turn up? He'll be here. Listen, I'm in the middle of a comment. I'll just change it over because it's continued. Oh, all right. All right. So, uh, Tommy, when did you first become interested in the Phantom? A long time ago, Jonathan, when I was a little boy. Really? Yeah. I heard what you said. Look, Mum, Jonathan's a coffee table. I am not. I'm being an inanimate object. 
Now get back to the story. Did you um like when you when you you actually wrote a song dedicated to the Phantom? Yeah. Yep. Uh, basically, it just tells what the comic tells anyway. Mm. But I mean, look at that. I mean, could Superman do that? Two guys' heads smashed to pulp like that. Have you been contacted by the Phantom? I mean, what does he think of the record? Yeah, he comes to me every night and uh, tells me how it's selling. And uh, there's a lot of pygmies out there because it's doing quite well. Yeah, what is this connection with the Phantom and pygmies? It's a fetish. Is that like sort of like a, <laughs> a it's like pate or something? Friend of the pygmy Banda. I know the Phantom will arrive in a moment. It is 400 years ago. He is the first Phantom. Hey, Tommy, um, do people still sort of really take the Phantom seriously? I mean, do they have a lot of followers? Of course. Six, about 60,000 every fortnight. Really? Don't worry, he'll be here. I kind of look slimmer in the comics. <laughs> Damn jungle food. Phantom, ghost to walks, my hero. Welcome. Hi, Tommy. How are you? <laughs> Why are you speaking like that? Son of a gun, it's so good to see you. Jonathan's been looking for you. He's gone. Oh, the turkey from TV? Yeah. Oh, no. Why don't you e go down to my secret scenic skull cave under the water and play your record on my secret skull stereophonic stereoscope? Let's turn on to you, Faith. Here you go. <laughs> it's fun, you know. It's grueling. It's, it's, it's a real down challenge. Here? Yes, just second door on the left. All these... Show is over, but only for this edition. Please join me and the four reporters next time. See you then, and keep smiling, because the world really is wonderful. Bye.